Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode. Last time we took on the Von Boris set of trials, and in doing so, we got ourselves Urbosa's Fury Plus. And well, in this video, we're going to be taking on another set of the Champion's Valid Trials. But before we do that, as you can tell, I'm not really by a Divine Beast or near any of the monuments that appeared within Hyrule. And that is because I want to get two quick things, so that way we can utilize the Horus that was uh, a pretty important part to the series and I like how it started to rain the second I wanted to do this so it's not working out perfectly but yes as you can see uh, there's a Korok seed there that's not necessarily what I'm looking for but no I'm gonna go ahead and make my way by gliding which isn't the most efficient way but whatever it will work to the Horus God um, you know found in the spring to be exact uh, and the reason why I'm heading there and really a Yiga clan member is on me right now I could have sworn I heard, like, the sound effect of a Yiga Clan member appearing. Whatever. Okay, oh, there is. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to ignore him and make my way to my destination. Because, yes, we are going to go ahead and get the Horus gear. That's what I'm trying to get at uh, in, obviously, our Master Mode playthrough. Uh, and the reason why I want to do this very quickly is so I can utilize Aggro, a big part of the series. You know, we spent, like, two videos looking for her. So, uh, I think it'd be fun to, like you know, use her, especially since in this video we're going to be taking on uh, one of the trials, actually. There we go, you heard her, that is Mipha, yeah, we're going to be taking on Mipha's champion song, and um, I think it'd be cool to utilize Agra with the ancient saddle and ancient bridle, so we're going to go ahead and grab that real quickly by teleporting here, obviously I have the memories down, uh, just like all the monuments, I think since we already played it, once before, not so long ago, actually our, pretty much the set of videos when the Champions Valid first came out was just one month ago, and here I am playing it on Master Mode again. Uh, it's kind of crazy how, I, I guess I just can't get enough of this game, and maybe that's why I have it memorized so well, but uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild is probably my most played game out of... Uh, many games except i want to say like twilight princess and then i've mentioned before league of legends i feel like i put thousands of hours into that but it's a different game like c compared to like single player you know home console games instead of like an online you know moba that you know completely different stories so you can waste way more hours in a game like that especially with friends online and stuff but uh this is definitely coming up to twilight princess it will probably pass it i already have like over a thousand hours on one of my files and then this one it's like um at least 500 hours so i've played like a thousand five hundred hours of this game uh already and i'm still enjoying every second i don't think it's ever gonna change i mean twilight princess i put so many playthroughs in even let's plays and i feel like that's what's happening with this game just because it's my favorite game i'm treating it this way and what's funny is right now what's going on is uh uh, what's it called? Awesome Games Done Quick. It's pretty much like a charity event that uh, goes on for a week stray of just speedruns of games. You know, a bunch of different Twitch streamers come together and uh, stream so many games for charity. It's a really good thing for a good cause, and it's super entertaining. Um, and here, let me go ahead and equip the, you know, saddle and bridle on it to Agra real quickly so we can utilize her in the upcoming stuff. But the reason why I'm getting to this is because it made me think, like, seeing all of these speedruns and these, um, you know, people so good at, like, one specific game, like, would I ever want to do that? Like, at least with Zelda, I, I like 100% them, but I wouldn't consider myself, like, a, a speedrunner. I can't speedrun any Zelda game. Uh, and it just made me think, like, maybe I should attempt to do one. Maybe, like, pick one game. And this game, I've been so obsessed with since its release that it might be the game I should try. And plus, it wouldn't be that hard to speedrun because it's off the Great Plateau and straight to Ganon uh, if you know how to do it. And I've done runs where I went straight to Ganon off the Great Plateau. Managed to win. Uh, I don't know how to do it in Master Mode, though. I don't think we're going to try that out in Master Mode, just because the uh, enemies heal and it makes it really difficult for, um, you know, the amount of weapons you have, and especially if you don't have a lot of Korok Seeds. But I'm sure it's doable. i got to learn how to do it. My whole point is, um, I think it'd be fun 
to attempt to maybe speed run one game and at least learn how to maybe not do a world record or anything but at least know how to do and i think breath of the wild would be the perfect game that or tp i would love to do twilight princess as well but just yeah with playing these games so often especially on the channel like replaying them not only by myself but with you guys um I just thought about that, but I don't know if I would do, I feel like it's very time consuming, and especially if I want to play other games since I'm trying to branch out, be kind of a bad idea right now, and whoa, look at that, Horus is, like, the way he has his teeth out, it's freaking hilarious, the uh, black haired Horus obviously behind her, not ours, but <laughs> it's a pretty funny animation, okay, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and quickly put the Horus gear we want, so we can just whistle and have aggro anywhere we need her, which is going to be freaking awesome it's actually going to be like shadow of the colossus where you pretty much whistle for your horse i do believe uh, in shadow of the colossus you can get aggro to appear from anywhere can you actually i'm not entirely sure i need to get back into that speaking of which because uh the uh hd remake not just uh like hd upscale which you could say the remaster so it's not an hd remaster it's a hd remake coming out on the playstation 4 and i'm going to tell you guys this Obviously, we're going to play it on the channel, and it's this year, so get ready for that. And for those who are into Breath of the Wild and haven't played Shadow of the Colossus, you should really consider it, especially this upcoming uh, remaster that they're making. But alright, so there we go. Whoa, aggro looks so badass like this. Like, this armor fits her really well. Now we can get aggro onto the Great Plateau, very high areas that she couldn't reach before, and we don't have to bring her with us. We can just whistle. So this is going to be really awesome, and I like how easy it is to get, but now let's go ahead and move on to the actual plan of the video, and that is to make our way over to, um... The monument and then take on the trials that Mipha took on 100 years ago so that way we can uh you know move on with this trial and then take on the other two because actually there's still one more after that I'm making it seem like we're going to be rewarded after this but not really I mean I guess if you consider Mipha's grace plus a reward um and for those wondering this was obviously the most suggested um champion for me to take on uh, it seems like a lot of you guys agreed on Mifa next. A couple of you guys wanted me to take on Revali, but it's a good thing uh, that didn't win because if it did, we would have been following in the same footsteps as my normal mode LP, so it's nice to kind of switch things up. Plus, I want to see how Thunderblighten does pan out because remember, this is master mode, so things might go bad quick. And the reason why I say that is just because enemies HP heal and weapons break. So for me, you can't even, like, you know go the long run it will uh eventually catch up and you'll lose and you'll have no weapons to kill the enemy with but okay so i just realized maybe i should quickly set the you know locations back onto the map i do believe yep i'm facing where i need to go so let's do this now what's really awesome is you can pretty much see where the monument is and now while i'm gliding right now to the destination uh, we're going to have some walking to do. I can't easily glide. You can see the orange slightly on the map. I don't know how well you could see it on YouTube, but it's there. Like, right above Link's glider, if you look up, you can see, like, the small orange monuments. But, okay. What I want to do, though... Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think you're going to want to appear with this guy here. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay. Just real quick, you know, I'm using an ancient... Horus weapon, might as well use my ancient arrows. I just don't want to mess with that dude. Um, and I don't really have my uh, great falcon bow, sadly. So it's not like I can use that, but check this out. So yeah, the second we need a Horus just to trek a little bit, we can easily take our Horus around. And then let's say I don't need it anymore uh, because the terrain is going to start to... Uh, you know, be difficult for the horse to kind of maneuver through. Well, then I can ditch the horse, whistle again when I need it, so on and so forth. And to me, that is so freaking awesome. So once I'm able to actually utilize Agro again, I'm definitely going to call her. And I guess once we reach up there, but okay, the East Reservoir Lake is where the battle against the Divine Beast was, you know, with Sidon and all of that. Freaking love this part. And actually, let me just jump down here. <laughs> well, this isn't much trekking. I'm going to use Revali's Gale right up ahead. Uh, might as well call my horse for like two seconds. You know what? Screw it. I'm too lazy to walk. I could have actually glided, but I don't even care. Let's do it. Yeah, check it out. To me, this is amazing. Like, while the horse isn't necessarily like the um the the true reward we're going to be getting at the end of this which is the 
Uh, what am I trying to think? The Master Cycle Zero. Uh, it's still really convenient, really awesome. And I mean, you guys saw me get both items immediately within seconds. So you can do this at any point within the game. You just need to head to the Highland Stable uh, to swap them, of course. And then you need to as well, um, you know, make your way to the Horse God slash the... Uh, What's the other place that it's hidden? And I like how we can already hear cast right now. But obviously, Satori Mountain. That's what it is. But okay. Anyways, a blood moon is rising. But we made it here first. So let's go ahead and kind of sit back and, you know, listen to this. I'm going to immediately make my way to its locations. Because I think I have it memorized. Uh, you know, one's in the Akala Sea. The other one is north of the uh, Zora's Domain. And the other one is literally... In the Mifa cutscene that we're going to be seeing later on, she pretty much does the trial herself. And we're going to do it ourselves. It's interesting, she's not doing the trial clearly. She's teaching baby Sidon, but it's kind of like the trial because we take a very similar path. I want to say it's the same one. No, you know what? It's for the other shrine. The shrine where you come down with your, um, you know, trident and hit the uh, giant you know, pedestal, the Sheikah pedestal, and then it summons a shrine. I think that's the waterfall her and Zelda were at, Ooh. I want to say. You can't tell. There's a lot of waterfalls by Zora's Domain. You'll see the cutscene later on for those who don't know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and quickly hear Cass's song. Uh, so that way we can attempt with these trials. That way we can see the cutscene that I'm, like, just constantly going on about. Might as well go into more detail after we watch it. Again, at this time in Japanese, remember that? I'm enjoying the Japanese dialogue much more than... Well, not really much more, because I really like Avos' voice in English. I like Rivali's voice in English. Mifa's voice has grown on me. It's just Zelda's. But Zelda is in every cutscene. <laughs> this is the Legend of Zelda after all. So... Yeah, that's the only problem about that. I just don't like it. She sounds so much older. In Japanese, she sounds young. It fits Zelda's voice, but um, in in English, it just sounds very worrisome even before the calamity. And it's just, just very like stereotypical uh, voice, in my opinion. Especially since it's a fake British accent as well. So it, it's just and you can hear it. To me, it sounds fake, uh, and I'm pretty sure yeah, it is because. I don't believe the voice actress is British, but, uh, okay. Anyways, there we go. We have it done it. Uh, is that a dragon? Yo, there is Nadra, my friends. Check it out. To me, this is so cool. Tell, do you believe it? Tell now, almost a year after the game's release, I still get so fascinated seeing this. I like how when we use the scope... It's like we could barely hear Cass anymore. Like we've actually gotten far further away. But whoa, look at that blood moon rising. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and get started by making our way to one of these areas. And I guess we can attempt to reach one of the areas through here. This might take a bit though, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and teleport to Zora's Domain and do it in a much easier way. Luckily, we do have the aggro, um, you know, on command. <laughs> I guess you could say, aka, you know, the, the ancient gear we're going to be able to use to easily just whistle and have aggro up here. So, uh, I'm going to be utilizing that right after I make my way to my first shrine. Maybe I should try in Zora's Domain. I feel like it'd be very slow. I just want to test it out. An excuse to test it out because we played so much of this game before the DLC came out that I didn't get to really experience all of the DLC stuff when I needed it so I want to try it out now and see if it's any helpful and this isn't really needed but might as well just see how it works let's see can we get her here oh, okay no she, we can't get her here really not at all okay she's not meant to appear in Zora's domain I guess um, there must be like something that stops her to come here or maybe she just doesn't mess with stairs I don't know I don't really know how the horses work obviously they don't appear in the desert just like the bike you know the bike pretty much acts just like the uh other things but wait it just hit me in master mode are things things are gonna be way more difficult oh man this is gonna be weird how are we supposed to do this in master mode okay well um whatever i'm just gonna follow the pathway and hope i'm fine I don't know. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's just grab 
the tunic, which uh, for some reason I can't spot. Oh, there we go. I made it all yellow for some reason. Why'd I do that? Okay. You know, let's put it all on. Maybe we'll help us swim faster. I mean, at least we have Mifa's grace on us. So, okay. This is the dumbest thing to do because if these guys do see me and they have, like, probably, uh, I don't know if they'll have, uh, lightning arrows or whatever, but if they do... That's a problem, but okay, at least the Blood Moon's gonna happen, so I don't feel too bad attempting to ignore these guys. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Drop it and hurry. Yes. You know what? If anything, this makes it more exciting. Whoa! The challenge is truly there with, uh, with all of these enemies and then the Blood Moon happening. Okay, there it goes. So the Blood Moon has happened, and let's listen to it for a second. <laughs> Yeah, no, I prefer her Japanese voice so much more. And plus, the cutscenes do fit more in Japanese just because, uh, the, the, okay, this is where I die, isn't it? Ooh! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we made it. Come on, hurry, press it, go, go, okay, phew, that was close, <laughs> One hit from this dude and it probably would kill me. But luckily, we managed to do it, my friends. These trying, uh, trials, especially for Mifas, are very, very easy. So, that's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, though. They are, and now it's starting to rain again. Cool. Okay. Anywho, we managed to do it without dying. But the yeah, other thing I was saying is, yeah, the cutscenes are much better in Japanese because the lip syncing is, uh connect is uh, in sync with it and uh, I like that a lot like I didn't know how bad it was until seeing it in Japanese I'm like oh wow the the, the cutscenes were animated for the Japanese voice and not clearly not for the English because it's originally Japanese but uh, yeah it's something I really enjoy actually about that but okay let's see how long this shrine takes definitely gonna have to like maybe restart my camera so it doesn't go out uh, a little bit after this before I get too consumed with the game uh, that's something I want to keep on the back of my mind, so that way you guys can get this quality and don't have to worry about, uh, again, like, the, um, it going out or, you know, just generally the, the quality of my webcam has always been so bad, but with, you know, my DSLR, it's been pretty nice, it's just, it doesn't record for more than, I guess, 30 minutes at a time or 20, I don't know, it's random, so that's why I just gotta keep an eye on it, but in between loading screens, I'll be sure to reset it so it doesn't affect uh, any of the gameplay, but okay, um, crap, I, I, I got these. these, these weren't that difficult from what I remember, um, we're gonna go ahead and grab this thingy, and then I think I just need, whoops, okay, well, I'm not really, really utilizing that well, but okay, there we go, now we have it with us, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess pull, wait, can I do this? Yeah, I can, okay, pull this upwards, and then... Place it down here. Okay. Whoa, okay. No, we're good. Is it high enough? Oh, no, it's not. It is not even... Wait. No, no, Okay, I think I got it. So then we're going to place one right here. Let's freeze this. There we go. And then I'm going to place it on top of that as well. That may seem a bit risky because I might not be able to climb it, but I think I can. Yeah, I can climb the ice. So there we go. As long as Link is able to not clip on to the metal when moving from the ice to the metal he should be fine i think we're fine so yeah there we go link immediately went for the metal anyways and voila we managed to do it that was pretty simple all right it's not like i haven't solved this before but i don't have them memorized per se now i want to take a photo of just this to me this is very cool looking let's see if we can zoom in there we go and then take a photo of the monk as well okay I don't know why, but I just felt like it was necessary. One thing I'm really glad uh, for is the fact that if you wanted to take all the photos yourself for the um, the Hyrule Compendium, you can. Uh, and that is because uh, you can retake on all of the bosses again. Except actually I forgot Master Koga and maybe some other enemies that don't appear again. I feel like Master Koga is definitely uh, one that they can't fix, sadly. So never mind. I, don't, I wonder if we took a photo of Master Koga in this file. I wasn't going to try to buy them, uh, so we'll see. But anyways, yes, we managed to take on our first trial. Two more re remain. Ugh, not bad. 
All right, let's uh, move on. I believe we have to hear this the first time and then we could skip it. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, so now let's continue on. So if you couldn't tell again, uh, what I did, it was just a quick uh, re-record on my camera. All I do is hit the home button before anything even loads so you guys don't miss anything, which is weird because why am I showing the loading screen? I don't know. I, I felt like for some reason in master mode, I should show off everything. Uh, so you guys can see everything. To me, that's a cool concept. Like, uh, um, one thing a lot of people complain about is like, oh, between the last episode and this episode, you did something I missed out on. I always see that in videos, and that's something I don't want to do in my videos. And some people may consider that uh, just, you know, wanting to show everything. And that, to me, that's the main reason. I mean, for me, it's mainly just because I don't want anyone to miss out on anything. I mean, a loading screen is a bit much, though, but... I think you get my point. I just kind of want to, uh, like, have documented everything. To me, that's something I like doing. That's why I started YouTube to begin with, was to obviously do Let's Plays like this. And evolve to something much more, but uh, I think just video making in general is my favorite thing now. But uh, I still like the whole documenting factor and kind of showing off everything. Like, knowing that, you know, if you watch this, you'll get my whole playthrough, my whole experience of the game nothing no cuts and if there were cuts it's just very tedious things i needed to cut of course nothing too extreme but okay as you can see again aggro working out so well i'm loving this this is amazing this is what i meant and why i needed her and, and needed this uh this thing on us so yeah now we have made it to the second trial already sadly it is raining but hopefully we'll be able to get through this easily i'm gonna quickly maneuver around here okay so the goal in hand is not to get caught by that so let me just see if I can out run this there we go okay there we go we got what we wanted and that is Rivali's Gale is back up so now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can kite this dude all right we managed to do it I'm really enjoying uh, the horse play here <laughs> Okay, but now that we have that, because it's raining, that's the only problem. And this is why I don't feel good taking on these guys. And as you can see, it's going to be raining for a good old bit. So my goal right now is to reach the central turret here. And, and now that I do have Revali's Gale, I don't have to worry about, um, what's it called? Trying to climb this and then failing. I can easily just reach it like this. And now let's go ahead and quickly... Oh yeah, let me just block this. Okay, now. Oh crap, this is really bad. Oh no! Mifa's Grace, thank god it saved me. But I need to quickly do this. Alright. And. Let's see, will this hit this guy? Huh, it probably won't. Crap, this was really bad. For some reason, my Master Sword isn't glowing here. You know what? Because this is a Sheikah trial. It just hit me. My Master Sword won't glow here since I don't have the full upgrade. But whatever, at least we managed to take out this thing. Right? How close? No, we're not even that close. Uh-oh. No! No! Ah! It broke. Okay, thank God it broke, actually. This is my chance. Come on, Link. And... Come on, you got this. There's no way we need more damage. Okay. Thank God we have me had Mipha's Grace there. Sadly, we're not going to be able to use Mipha's Grace in the upcoming battle because I messed that up. I... I didn't bother parrying because I had to drop down quickly. I decided to use the Rook's Protection, but I forgot that it would hit me twice. But, all right, that's fine because now we can take on these guys. Luckily, I do have some Ancient Arrows on me, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. It's just, oops, okay, well, we actually need to hit them in their face. Whoa, okay, I wonder if hitting them in the center will work. Yes, it does. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we're good, we're good. So, let's go ahead and hit this guy. What? Don't eat that. What the frick? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why did that fail so bad? I hit it right in its center. Usually I try to aim for the eye, but when I'm above it, it's a bit difficult. Let's aim for the eye. Okay. Now let's aim for the center now. I feel like the eye is the way to go. See, I'm, hmm, I'm very inconsistent with these one shot kills on these guys. It's because for some reason, I don't know the sweet point till now, actually. I should uh, kind of pinpoint it if you guys know exactly, but I feel like it's been changing on us almost. 
But it's a fine. Okay, so there we go. The eye is definitely going to work for us. As you can see, the eye always works for us. But sometimes above the eye might work. And that's what I was hoping for. Sadly, that was not the case. Now that we've done it, Link immediately halts, stops to let us know that we have completed the trial. That trial is honestly really annoying, I'm going to be honest. One, because of the rain. Two, because... I, 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 don't, I never really liked this, the Sky Watchers, to be honest. Uh, those are enemies I always avoided. I don't really like to farm because they're literally flying within the air. So it can get pretty annoying. But hey, they dropped a good amount of loot, so I'm happy for that. Whoa, okay, now you need to get away. I'm going to just make my way to my destination, which is... Wait, where did the shrine appear? I feel like it appeared back here. It, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. What the frick? This... This guy is for real. He has fire bombs just... Or, I think those were bomb arrows. This, what, you know, same thing. They explode. Is what I'm trying to get at. And, uh, I didn't expect that at all. Um, did the shrine appear above here, I think? I think it did. I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention. I thought just to run away from those enemies. But there we go. Okay. Completely opposite direction. It's whatever, you know, this is my second time doing it now in Master Mode. I'm excited, though, because, you know, if I were to actually... I, the thing is, if I were to try to treat this game like a, um... Like a, what's it called? Uh, a game to speed run. I, I think in general, I'd be... It, it, it wouldn't really require me going through too much of the game. Unless I do, like, a 100% run, but that seems too difficult with the Korok Seeds. So it's just, like... I'm, I don't know if, like, there is, like, a... 120 shrine run that's something i think i'd be down for but not 100 percent. i feel like the korok seeds defeat it like i've seen 100 percent speed runs in many zelda games from oot to wind waker to uh wait did i i think wind waker yeah i've seen wind waker 100 percent runs as well but like I, I can't see this game being a thing i bet there has been i can assure you there has been but man that seems so <laughs> tedious all of those um Freaking Korok seeds must really get annoying, but okay. So this is the support and guidance we much must uh, show by doing this first. Let's see if it rolls fine. Nice. And then let's set a block right here to not have it roll off. And then a block right here to hopefully have it roll down. I think that should do the job. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going off of memory, but sometimes my memory isn't the best. I think this was it. Yeah, we're good. No! So this happened again. I feel like this happened before, though. Um, where it gets, it didn't have enough momentum to roll back down. It should have had enough momentum. Maybe if I move the thing a little bit higher. But what I'm going to do right now is hopefully this works. This just sends it flying the right direction that I need it to. Okay, that's fine. Um resetting it also might work so let's go ahead and then now keep this here but this time i'm gonna keep this a bit higher like this there we go okay i think this should do it this should definitely do it um though i might be wrong but whatever <laughs> let's go ahead and attempt it now there are many other ways to do this though Th this is probably the, the most optimal way but i can assure you um I've seen other ways, like some crazy ways where, like, you stasis the ball immediately and then try to send it flying over and, like, you know, hits all over the place. But, I mean, I'm just trying to show the most optimal way, to be honest. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy or fancy. I think that would be a fun playthrough as well of this game to do, like, a not-so-optimal way, like, to do everything in a weird way, weird fashion. Um, but... I mean, every single shrine you'd have to find a way to do. I feel like some shrines only have a one-way-to-be-solved solution. These ones are more so just you've kind of getting it across, you know? And that can be done in multiple amounts of ways. But a lot of the shrines are kind of like that, right? Uh, there's a lot of gyro ones as well. But okay, one remains according to the Sheikah Monk. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I made sure to eat food. Not, a lot of people always like to point out, wow, he's eating food when he has full HP. More of that. I like to have additional yellow hearts. Even if I have max hearts, I'll put the two extra yellow hearts. I'm just used to that. Uh, obviously, there's very easy cooking methods to where 
food is just not important to me, so I'll just waste food. I'll waste yellow heart hearted food, you know, the full restore plus types of food. Like it's nothing because it is nothing. It can be obtained very easily within the game. So, uh, yeah, I just feel like it's not that big of a deal, but I do notice a lot of people, um, tend to point that out that I, uh, just am wasting food or something. It's like, trust me, I'm not, I, I can easily make like a hundred of these. The easiest way to farm, of course, and I've showed this off before, I believe in the let's play as well, is just you teleport to Ferron Tower, you head to the ledge that is filled with, um, you know, the hearty durians, and then you just pretty much cook one by one by one. If you have full max HP, but if you're like me, then you cook like five at once even, and hope for something very good. I mean, in general, that's just the easiest way to do it if you're not trying to mix stuff or really go out of your way. To me, that's just like how I can almost infinitely farm it. That's why I don't care for it, but... Yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Because I do do that a lot. I just kind of, you know, I may still have yellow HP, but I'll eat it. But I feel like in this playthrough, it's more necessary to always have additional yellow HP if I'm trying to play safe. Because with six hearts, I'm technically going to die in a hit. I mean, you saw the Guardian kill me right after I lost my two Daruk's protections. If I didn't have Mephis Grace, I was dead. And I'm honestly not trying to die. As much uh, is what I'm trying to get at, because I feel like I've I've added so many deaths, and for those who don't know, I am counting the the deaths in this playthrough. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if you haven't seen a video where I died and watched the Obliterator one, you'll see a lot of them rack up. But hmm, for some reason, I'm trying to think. Is it up here? It might be up here, uh, where where we need to you know wait and then. We can attempt to do the last one. Yeah, I didn't really go into how to solve any of these, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be completely honest. To me, it's very uh, straightforward. You just kind of listen to what Cass says and kind of move on from there. But, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I'm not fighting these guys. So come up here. <laughs> I'm going to bring you, and we're going to just kind of go past them. There's a lot of gold enemies, as you can see. A whole camp of them. And I'm not ready for it, but I do see a fire. That's what we're trying to reach. So, hey, guys. Bye, guys. I don't want to fight you guys, please. And thank you. Okay, sweet. They let me be. I think. At least. Yeah, they did. Okay. So, we have made it. Let's go ahead and wait until... Wait, wait. I want to see this. Is he going to do it again? No. A lot of people are pointing out how... Like, uh, one of the bulls or whatever just jumped off the cliff. In this exact moment, I had so many people point that out. But it was in my original playthrough, so, yeah. Um, anywho, I, I, did, I guess I didn't notice that because I was, like, you know, reading the dialogue or explaining something. But the dialogue slash explaining whatever I was explaining was for this. Yes, the blue mark that appears at night that you just need to head through uh, at, you know, early morning where you can see the sun rising to me i feel like this puzzle is just to admire how beautiful the sunrise of the game is because this is actually where the sun comes out it's literally in this exact part of akala is where you see as you can see you can see the light of the sun shimmering and you're gonna see it soon poke out it just kind of spawns in and moves up all across hyrule to the other side where it sets and to me it's so beautiful i love the dynamic of this game like the s south part of hyrule isn't as sunny as the north slash from west to east because of how the sun works like to me it's very realistic i freaking love it like look at that but okay i guess we have to make it before the hour hits i want to say at least you know if they got six exactly as we're going to see the sun Man, look at how beautiful this is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quickly take a look at it before I enter inside. I think it's already going to spawn me on to the Sheikah um, platform of the shrine itself. But we're going to see right now because I think it spawns literally where we're standing, right? Okay, now we have to swim a little bit to it. But it just hit six. And let's see if we can see the sun rising. I want to see if we, I, we can actually spot it from here. Because, I mean, this is essentially where it's coming out. Uh, yeah, let me actually pull out my camera. Maybe it's at 7 exactly. I want to see if it will, like, catch it spawning. Maybe we're too low to see the sun spawning. Maybe it's already up here, this giant beam of light. This might already be it. Like, you can't actually make out the sun. Um, yeah, I think it's already out. It looks like it is. Yeah, I mean, there's so much light 
coming from this direction compared to the re actually let's just look at it look at it compared to the rest of hyrule it's all coming from here this is so weird looking but so cool it makes me wish there was like a sky level within this game or a meadow was still explorable after defeating it sadly that's not the case but okay anyways enough admiring the beauty of this let's kind of move on um i, I can't help it you know like i said a year from now i still can't help to gush over stuff like that but okay i always feel like we should add more shrines to all of these shrines we're completing but they aren't shrines they're just additional trials so that's why our total count isn't going up we have yet to hit 80 i want to hit 80 but whatever um I don't know why I have this set still on. I guess I had it just to swim, but I'm going to go ahead and swap it back just because uh, why not, right? Uh, let's just put on what I usually have on, which is this. To me, this is a very useful set just because you always need some sort of cool resistance. But okay, we got a blade out so we can easily melt things or buy. Uh, I wonder if we have ice or fire arrows on us. We have one, so I don't think that's what we're going to want to do. Let's see, do we have any flame blades? We have a flame spear, so... You know what? I'm just going to stand like this and then hit it once. Let's see what happens. That's not good enough for me, to be honest. I might need to bring a torch. I feel like the torch would take just as long, though, right? Because this is a flammable object, so it should be similar. Maybe the torch... No, when the torch, when you set it on, it goes much quicker. Whatever. I'm going to attempt to do this with just this. You know, change things up. I don't believe I did it like this. I think I did it with the torch last time. So, now this is the run of having a flame weapon. If you don't want to you know have it break on you just hold it out and you should be good to go so our goal here now is not to melt both of these but just this one by standing near it until it shrinks enough um, and I love the shrine music especially after hearing it uh, in the final trial which can't wait to reach in master mode should be like two more videos from now but my point here is uh, yeah, I just kind of opened my eyes to how much I think I just love the Shiki Shrine music. I said from the beginning that I liked it. I remember a lot of people were saying it gets kind of annoying how repetitive it is, how it's like the exact same thing, but I see the complete opposite. Okay, well, come on. What? I, I want to see if I can easily shortcut my way by... There we go. Okay. So this is kind of a risky take here. As the one I'm standing on is shrinking... The one I'm in front of is also shrinking, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this one a couple times to speed up the process. Hopefully it doesn't break my thingy, but once it is a n Come on, we can do this. I think we're good. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's hit it one more time. One, two, okay. Now get on and just keep pushing this. <laughs> this is really dumb right now, but this is just so I can reach. Come on, Link, you got this. This is <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> we can do this. Okay, just just stick to it until you get enough room to actually move. My master sword is back up, which is good. I don't mean too much though. Okay, and I think we're good to actually reach the very end of all of this. Okay, I can actually move this. Can I jump on it? No. So let me stand a little bit further back from the other ice block. No. Okay, there we go. I don't want this other ice block to melt with me. Or to what well, with the other one, the one that I'm, you know, uh, the uh, not this one. I don't really care for this one, but just this one. So I think we're good. We should be able to jump, jump, and jump, jump, jump. Oh crap! Come on, hurry, jump, jump, and jump. No, 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 no. This is okay. You know, let's just let's put it away. Okay. Now I don't feel like I'm. F time there we go that's what i was trying to do mm -hmm. thing is i was so dumb i forgot to actually put away my weapon or put away yeah, my fire weapon to prevent that but okay let's use ice on ice to send it flying and end off with an ice arrow because i don't want to wait this through again so there we go we've done it my friends i think this is literally it as you can see boom oh, okay well it, it will fit i can assure you that i think it's already halfway in it's just Okay, let me just push it. Okay, I guess I can't push it. We have to be very gentle. Or, like this. There we go. What? Okay, well, screw it then. <laughs> let me melt it just a tad bit. Man, I like how the easiest puzzle is what's taking us the longest. Okay, move. There we go. Why is it constantly, like, tilting upwards? It should just kind of slide straight, please. There we go. That's what I was hoping for it to do. Right, but I didn't want to melt it too much more because it's supposed to use as a platform to bring us up. <laughs> Except that was really badly done. There we go. This should do it. Yep, there we go. And jump. 
Oh, maybe I should have it melt even more. Okay. I guess I miscalculated all of this. The, the, the way the, the blocks of ice work for Link to then later climb on. So I'm going to be a little patient here. Come on. Oh, don't get too small to where I can't climb. Okay. <laughs> really? This is going to be really an... Oh, my God. Come on. Let's not get too small. Okay, this should do it. Uh, let's break it again. Let's make another thing for it. Come on, don't fall down. Why is it Why is it doing it? Why is it not letting me create it right underneath it? Like, I want to just do it like this, but it won't work. Okay, there we go. That should be fun. Not really. What the heck just happened? All right. Um, just going to break this. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Is, why, why is this so difficult? We're at the end of the puzzle. Jeez. Okay. Now, just make a cube. Don't fall. Don't tilt. Why is it tilting? Come on. There we go. Perfect. And we're done, my friends. We can climb this or not. I guess give it a little more time to melt. For some reason, Link's still... There we go. Come on, Link. Climb it, please. How can you not climb this? What? What is going on? Link is just not... And he just did it. Okay. Good thing I didn't melt more of that because it was climbable. Link was just not responding properly. But after a good while, we managed to climb it. <laughs> This took a lot longer than I thought it would, but hey, we climbed. I mean, I literally just climbing repeatedly, and it just wasn't working, but it finally randomly worked. So, whatever. Moving on to the next one. This we managed to do it with just the one weapon and, well, one fire arrow. But anyways, with this done, we have the final trial that awaits, guys. Let's go ahead and do this, my friends. So... Uh, we collected all of the emblems, and well, yep, you guys know what we need to do. We need to make our way to... Varuta to end this so let's do it all right so again I had to reset things because uh, I guess these two shrines took us a lot longer than I expected I thought we were gonna be able to quickly do them and make our way to the divine beast but whatever we're good now so uh, our goal right now is just to reach the divine beast and take on the trial ahead of us obviously with the crazy amount of hearts the yellow hearts that I have it's gonna make it a bit easier because the thing is you can't actually eat anything in this trial but if you have buffs like yellow hearts yellow stamina whatever um, it will you know carry on into this battle so it just becomes super helpful because when you're limited to certain weapons you can definitely utilize the yellow hearts and yellow stamina so I'm definitely going to be using the yellow hearts while I do want to keep the six heart run going. Mifa's grace is down because I kind of used it at a bad time. So just to make up for it, I think the yellow hearts will be of use. But we'll see. We'll see how well we do. Hopefully I could do it maybe without getting hit once. I don't really know how this run is going to go, uh, to be completely honest with you guys. Just because um, I, Water Blight, I feel like, yeah, just, that one is kind of forgotten. It, I, like it's a hit or miss i don't I, I don't really have a tactic i just kind of kill it <laughs> so you know this one the phases don't mean much to me but all right let's go ahead and do this though so to the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess hylia offer this trial let's do it <laughs> i love how we can at least slightly re-enter the beast actually what is cool is i believe the whole divine beast is loaded uh the second you enter um, or like when you're in the battle so you can explore the divine beast somewhat sorta uh, while you can't control it you can kind of maneuver around it so I do like how they load the whole battlefield as the divine beast when you do take it on because I have messed around with some of them just by running around seeing how much I can explore and you're given a good amount to explore like the whole divine beast is loaded from what you can make your way around and with Revali's Gale you can pretty much get around a lot of areas believe it or not uh though it just would have been better to to keep them explorable uh, while there is no battle taking place you know just for fun uh and that's why in uh, I, like I'm doing a run where I'm not going to kill any of the divine beasts so I can come back to the divine beast itself and explore I know that sounds really dumb but to me, it's I, to me it's cool to re-explore temples after the completion. Like I feel like that's necessary. That's something Zelda has always had. It's weird that this one doesn't have it. But it makes sense, obviously, story-wise, makes complete sense. And just it, I wish 
because they're so well thought out, so well put together. It's a, it sucks that you can't revisit them. You have to play through a new game entirely to see how well they put these divine beasts. Because think of how cool it is. Like with Meadow, you're flying above Hyrule, or with Ruta, you're seeing inside the reservoir while it's constantly moving around. Um, so yeah, to me, it's just such a cool idea. While it's not literally loaded in, you can't jump straight into Hyrule. It's still very beautiful in concept. It reminds me a lot of like Stone Tower with just like how big it felt and how you could see, I believe, like how you could like walk outside very easily of the temple and see how far you scaled to reach it. And then when everything turns upside down, it's even better. But okay, wh where am I going with this? I don't know. I'm just going on a tangent right now. Let's just go ahead and take on the first boss. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, this is what I'm going to do first. Oh, wait, that was horrible. Let's see if I could do it. A second time. I wanted to get a flurry rush on this guy, so let's go ahead and do this. Whoa! I don't know actually how its attack is, so I think... Now! Okay, perfect! There we go. I just had to get used to where and how it lands this attack. But there we go. We got the flurry rush. I'm going to go ahead and add this on top of it so I can just dish out insane amounts of damage. Perfect. It's going to teleport, which is what I want it to do. Go ahead and see where it teleports to. Okay. Perfect. Wait, don't get hit by it. Nice. And it was regenerating, but I managed to get the attacks I wanted. So, perfect. Come on, can I get it to phase two? All right, phase two already. Not bad. Uh, I mean, Water Blade's pretty easy, but this phase is weird because it's going to be able to heal itself in Master Mode, so everything I did might be useless because I, I don't know how I'm supposed to hit it in return. Now we do have a bow, I believe, like a silver skill bow or something, so I can't attempt to do that. Let's see, okay, where is it teleporting? Uh, nice, okay, okay, we're gonna try something. So I'm gonna hit you once, I'm gonna hit you twice. Okay, wait, no, no, wait, jump back, whoa. No, no, I'm not getting hit by that. But I'm gonna prevent you from healing by hitting you. I don't want you to teleport though. I just don't want this thing to heal. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just hit it again in the eye, hit it again in the eye, and one more time in the eye, and then it's my chance to attack it. Yes, you can actually knock it down with a couple eye shots, but it's not like we have a lot of arrows, so let's just go ham. Okay, not bad. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll take that. Let's see. Where is it teleporting to now? Okay, come on. Don't heal. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. We got to stop this now. I'm not gonna die here huh. and huh. and you know what let's do this and eat this buddy oh well okay that was really badly thrown wow that was so badly done okay well we got to do this again then from the top let's uh, let's fix my mistake here sadly it's gonna be able to heal because of that but what I did is I didn't launch this soon enough so come on Let's do a bit more, and... Okay, this has to hit it. Yes, there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. But as you can see, it was able to heal back up, so... Does it mean anything? I don't know. You know what? It does, because we broke this trinet, and now we can end things off. So, alright. Let's go ahead and see where it teleports. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm sorry, but... Let's just end it. Let's just, let's literally end it here. Okay. Eh. What? It flew through you? Okay, it's fine. I have another one, luckily. Imagine if that was my last one. I don't know how I would end it then. I'd be screwed. Okay. Perfect. And then let's quickly just... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's jump back up. Okay, one last time. Is it going to really be right above me? Perfect. Whoa! Seeing your bosses, uh, you know model like that like it was pretty sudden and cool but there you go yeah we used the process three at the end because it was going to keep healing i wasn't going to wait it out i just wanted to show off the phases and how easy it is i don't think we got hit at least so that's a good thing right um yeah for me again like i said my only issue and the only thing i was worrying was the one thing that was my issue here and that is not having enough items because it can heal itself to me that's a scary thought because the long game is like, I'm one who can play the long game, you know, uh, I'll, I'll play it safe until I can figure out a way. But 
if playing it safe means it's gonna heal the enemy then that doesn't work but yeah anyways there we go we managed to do it time to see the song uh, or I guess her cutscene while we hear Cass's song uh, you know in Japanese so let's go ahead and check this one out uh, I'm excited though to see baby Sidon of course it's pretty uh pretty adorable but there it goes so everyone is going to capture the essence of champion me okay let's go ahead and check this one out I guess after we hear the lyrics, so recall the champion of Ruta's wrath before she walked her chosen path. If his kindness was known to all, which is why the princess came to call. All right. それで姫様私の他に選ばれた4人はゴロンの猛者ダルケルリトの戦士リーバルゲルドの族長ウルボサそしてタイマの剣を持つ剣士リンクそう もしものことがあったらこの里はあなたが守らないといけないのねシドじゃあ滝登りもう一度頑張ってみようか So that was pretty awesome. The voice acting was really nice as mm. well. I realized Sidon's uh, name sounds a bit different in Japanese. But okay, so let's go ahead and actually hear what Mifa has to say after this uh, as well. Because she does have something to tell us right now. And that is... All right, that's going to be very, very helpful. There we go. Yeah, I'm really hyped to have Mifa's Grace on a shorter cooldown. I feel like that's very helpful for this playthrough, to be honest. So there we go, Mifa. She clearly seemed the most caring one out of the champions. And... Oh man, that music. Yo, this is this man, I, I feel like every time at the end of these, the cast starts playing the theme and Ah oh, man, it sounds so good. But yeah. That cutscene is pretty freaking awesome. Definitely makes me like me a lot more. There's only one cutscene. 
Actually, the next two cutscenes make me dislike the these next two champions more because, to be honest, Daruk's cutscene isn't any better than Rivali's. Rivali's is pretty bad, but Daruk's is also pretty bad. What I mean by that is I like them; they're funny, but it's just the way the champions betrayed is kind of really different than I completely imagined them and you'll see what I mean but I guess you'll have to choose which one I want so let me know in the comments below which other champion I should take on next as much as I want to sit here and listen to Cass's music I think it's time to end off the episode here I wonder if the heart piece oh the heart piece isn't here anymore I guess we picked up this one but we left the other ones on the other things and hey look a shrine's over here but that's beside the point anyways yes I'm gonna end off the video here thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode uh, next time we're gonna take on either him or Rivali's uh, you know champions ballad TLC which is gonna be uh, you know, fine metal. So let me know which one you want me to take on in the next video. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!